เออเออเออเออเออกาสติฮายเดรดไว้ยูพาร์ตี้ฮายกาสวอลกัมแบ็กทูออลเพลย์วิ่งวิดมอร์วันไนท์ในคาราซานฉันต้องการกินผมอะไรบางอย่างก่อนก่อนที่เราไปที่ร้านอาหารที่ไม่ใช่ของเราถ้าคุณจำได้ตอนแรกในคืนนั้นเดมอนมาที่พาร์ตี้ที่ไม่ได้รับสนับสนุนและในทางออกเขาถูกจับกลุ่มไปที่ประตูของเขาด้วยกันดังนั้นเราต้องไปหาเดมอนฉันจะไปหาเดมอนและจับกลุ่มไปที่ประตูของเขาด้วยกันดังนั้นเราต้องไปหาเดมอนในเดอะเวนเจอร์ cost seven hundred gold or seven dollars more or less the same thing I've got some gold left over I've been I stockpile I always have an idea when an adventure is coming out and I just start stockpiling so come on come on I'm trying to be cool come on do it come on come on I know you do it you do you do this all the time there we go This must be what it feels like to wait in the the line to get into a party or a club. Ha ha! Let's go! Let's go! Uh, open up, please. Hello, hello. Yeah. I'm Rose, <coughs> Carazon Stewart, and I need your help. Midi's gone. We'll need the portals at the top of the tower to save him and the party. All right, let's get to work saving Medivh. Who's up first? We have. Without Medivh, the tower is out of control. All right, we have the Silverware Golem. Reach the top of the tower before the party takes over. Uh, his ability is be our guest. For zero mana, he can summon a one-one plate. I feel like a one-one plate. It's gonna be much more dangerous than it sounds. Let's go! Yes, and we get to choose our uh, uh, decks that we use. Of course, I'm going in with standard spell damage up front. Is standard spell damage the way to go? Actually, you know, we're going infected priest. That's my typical deck. For those of you not aware, I like to use Arcanai Soul Priest in the weirdest of ways. So that's gonna be the plan here. Now the thing with adventures is you can't always bring in a deck from standard. Hang on. Anduin versus the Silverware Golem. Mountain is up. The light shall bring victory. Okay, as I was saying, uh, you can't, normally you can't always bring in your decks from a standard or from wild. You need to build decks that are customized to beat the adventure, which is okay. I have no problem with losing with my deck the first time around and coming back. And using uh, a deck configured to beat it, uh, we have Entomb, Fleshing, and Ghoul, and Northshire Cleric. We're going first. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. I have no problem with this hand. I don't know what uh, the Silverware Golem will do, so I'll, I'll use this. Uh, we're gonna start with. Silverware is working together. We are surrounded. We're gonna start with the cleric. Is someone injured? Let's see what the Silverware Golem has up his sleeve. Oh, it's just a standard monster, and then he has a spoon for a weapon. All right, not bad, not bad. What we can do though, we can attack the plate right and heal the cleric to draw another card. Oh, no, we, we, this is this is. It, I've been rude. I didn't greet the silverware golem. Greetings. It's polishing time. Polishing time, guys. Don't do it. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. We can drop the Twilight Elder. I do still have Cthulhu in the deck. What I plan on doing for each adventure, once I revisit the older ones, I'm only going to use cards that were out at that time. So, for example, with uh, what's it called? With, hang on, my brain stopped. Don't know what happened. With Curse of Naxxramas right being the first thing ever, I'm not going to use any cards from any expansions. So that's an example. Listen closely. 
I got the old gods helping me to shut down parties, fam, or to to fix parties. That's how you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. You get a plate. You get a plate. Everybody gets a plate. Oprah reference. All right, we need to do a board wipe very soon because this is about to get sticky. Here we go. Let's go here. Now let's. Oh wait, thank you. Let's go to work. Right away. All right. All right, the flesh eating ghoul getting big. Is he saying served? Yeah, I actually needed the cleric. Thank you, sir. Hey, it's a cleric. Okay. Um, let's see. What are we gonna do? We're gonna he drop this and start healing. What are we going to heal? Because he's going to kill this outright. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should take him. Go here. And then go to work. That's the, oh, I am about to say, that can't be the first plate that I've destroyed. He's close. He's close, he says. All right, five armor. Five armor is not bad, golem. Plates have charge. Alright, guess he needs to be healed. Oh, oh, Cthulhu, what is he at? He's at 12. Too bad I can't play him. I don't know why I got excited. Here we go. Is someone injured? Then we'll go here. Yes. Wait. First we do this. Do you know the secret then we go here and everybody goes off. Mm-hmm. And now you go to work. And you go to work. All right. Can he take... Well, he can't take 10. I got Cthulhu on my side. Come on. Five more plates. Plates have one attack. Plus one attack. All right. Uh, That's it for the good old silverware golem. Uh, Outsider. GG no re. Right away. I always wanted to say that. I'm pretty sure you guys could tell that I've always wanted to say that. GG no re. Damn it, that was better. I should have said that. I should have said the dishes are done. Ah. I'm going to be better. I'm going to have all the best corny retorts. Woo. We got a card. We got Deadly Fork, Death Rattle, add a 3-2 weapon to your hand. So it's a fork as a minion, and then when it's done, we pick it up as a weapon. This looks like, is this Rogue? I don't know the colors. Past, past Priest and Mage, I don't know the colors. Oh, we got the Silverware Golem as well. If you discard this minion, summon it. It's, it's for Warlock. Actually, I'm familiar with Warlock's colors. All right, cool. A 3-3 three, three for 3 is nothing, but if you discard it, you get it back. Let's take on the next wing, or the next part of the wing. Uh, this is... Medivh enchanted the mirror to compliment our guests, but without him, well, you'll see. It's the magic mirror. The stairs are behind this very rude mirror. Uh, it's passive hero ability, or hero power. Whenever a minion is played, summon a 1-1 one -one copy of it. Okay. Okay, we could be in trouble here. We could be in trouble. Whenever a minion is played, the opponent gets a 1-1 one -one copy. I'm sorry, whenever we play a minion. What? Wait, 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 wait. Whenever any minion is played, our opponent will get a 1-1 one -one copy of it. Back at it with the infected priest. Let's go. Anduin versus the magic mirror. What's up? The light shall bring victory. Did the mirror really just say, what's up? I'm sending all three of these back. These are great cards, but I have no idea if they'll work or not. So we're going to, we're just going to pitch them all back and get worse cards and get worse cards. 
A 1-1 one, one copy, though. If it's a 1-1 one, one copy, our Holy Nova can take wow, care of it. you guys are ugly. Bitch! The light shall burn you. No, you! I'll kill you. I'll kill you and your whole family. There's a, uh, there's a coin. Someday I'll be just like you. So on top of it, oh, hell, like it does work you. like I thought. Okay, so any minion that gets played, he gets a 1-1 one, one copy of it. I'll kill you. Wow. No, you. Someday I'll be just like you. Board white. We need a board white. He's getting four mana uh, spells for free. We need a board wipe. Holy hell. This worked entirely too quickly. He's finna do something dumb. Watch. Not you, Grandpa. I am master of magic. Boy, this boar white finna be lit. This boar white finna be lit, son. Uh, I can't, oh, he can't summon another minion, can he? What's the limit? The limit is seven, isn't it? Okay, so if I play this, if I play this, he's most likely gonna run all in towards this. I mean, I just got, I gotta risk it. I gotta risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. How many things oh, do you, you have that in your deck? Oh, I get a copy. Oh, oh, it's on. I thought it was he gets a copy of whatever minion was summoned. No, it's it's a it's a global uh, effect. Three damage. Where's it going to the little one? Oh, to me. Lovely. Three more damage. Where's it going to me? Bruh, he could have won. Oh, hell. This clown could have won. Oh, shit. We lost. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the flaws of my deck here. My deck is too slow. My deck is too slow. The the important cards cost too much. Sorry, we'll change that up. Like I said, the adventures aren't meant for you to come in and wreck shop with just a normal standard or a normal wild deck. You have to build decks that are specifically tailored to combat whatever the challenge is. And in this case, it's that he can play a ridiculous amount of minions quickly if you let him. All right, so next time I'll play, I'm, I'm going to change my deck up, and then we're going to go back in against the Magic Mirror. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, all you have to do Hit that red button below this video. That's the subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you get to see more episodes of One Night in Karazhan. Uh, more episodes of Hearthstone and everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking out this episode. And I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. Bro, this song is hot. Hey, hey. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm.